welcome back in this lecture we are going to see web scrapping in python so we are going to see how we can fetch and manipulate data from the web using python so let's begin so first what we need to do we need to install the beautiful soup library so i type here pip install beautiful soup 4 I press shift and enter so I have already installed this so here it is printed requirement already satisfied so I move to the next line and here I'm going to import the numpy as np because we are going to use the numpy library and import pandas as ed and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt here i type percentage matplotlib inline so this line is just for plotting just for displaying the graphs just below the code that we are going to process and here i'm going to type from url library dot request i'm going to import url open and from bs4 import beautiful soup and import re all right so i missed out the space here and now it's fine so url lib okay now it's fine okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to use this link this website and here you can see we have got a lot of data and this is the avenue of the giant marathon and this is the list of all the people who participated in the marathon race and uh, their position in the race so we are going to use this data i am going to create a variable url equal to and i'm going to copy this url HTML equal to URL open and I'm going to open this URL. I create a soup variable and beautiful soup. HTML and HTML5 library and the title I'm going to fetch the title and the title will be the soup dot title and print the title dot text now let's print out the title it takes some time to fetch the data from the website and here we got the result so race result for 2022 and uh, this is the title we have got at the top now you can also notice that we have got some links here in this website so if you want to fetch the details of this links like you have to print out the links here so for that i'm going to type here links equal to soup dot find all and i'm going to run a loop for link in links print 
link dot get hyper reference h r e f so these are the links now i am going to print out the rows here and the cells like the rows you can see here we have hundreds of rows so here i'm going to type here all rows equal to soup dot find all and dr the rows and i'm going to print all rows i'm going to print from like starting till the fourth one the fourth row and here we go so what i'm noticing here is that it is printing the random rows 396 187 so let's move on and uh, let's see the next command that we are going to use we will see we will print out the rows in the sequence in the next few lines so for row in all rows row list row dot find all td the elements and uh, here i'm going to print row list so here we got the row list and uh, the name of the participant this is i think the location or something else let me see it is the 394 element element number 394 Emilux, yes. Uh, Emery Villa, Emery Villa. Let's see here. It is the city. Okay, so it has printed out the city. And uh, this is the state name and uh, other details. So, for cell, a particular cell in the row list. I'm going to print cell dot text all right so we have got the details of each cell 394 396 f46 canada the time now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to print out all the rows by sequence and uh, we are going to use the data frame to sort the details and to add the columns everything so let's put some space here and i create here an empty list all rows equal to soup dot find all all the rows tr and for row in all rows we are going to find the row list row list equal to row dot find all td for the cells and i'm going to update the data list data row equal to this is another list that i'm going to create which will save the row list now for the cell in each row i'm going to create a nested for loop for cell in 
row list data row dot append cell dot text and finally data dot append data row so data row will be saved in the data list and the cell will be stored in the data row data equal to print data from 4 to 6 like it will be starting from 1 till end and here I'm going to print the list of rows so in the second line we have got an error all right so here we got the output so you can see here that it is starting from the beginning Gary Hogg and this is the first person here Gary Hogg and uh, we have got all the details here now you can notice that we have got some unwanted space as well as some characters so we are going to remove it also and we are going to create a data frame so first i'm going to create a data frame then we are going to remove these extra elements here so df.pd.dataframe and uh, i'm going to print the data and print df all right so here we got all the data it's too much so what i'm going to do here i'm going to skip this line and here we got the data frame so now you can notice that it is much easier to understand here i'm going to remove some extra spaces as well as the unwanted characters slash n so here i type df equal to df dot replace and uh, i'm going to replace the slash n with null character nothing and uh, regex equal to true similarly i'm going to copy this line and paste it here and i'm going to remove the unwanted space again with the null character and regex equal to true then print df and here we go so you can notice here that it is starting from the zero element which is the finisher male female how many members are there and here you can also notice we have got here finishers male female and uh, the first five elements then we have got a space like there's hundreds of elements so it has printed out the last few elements so 400 rows and 20 columns so if you want to get info of this data frame so you can type here info df.info so we have 400 entries from 0 to 399 which is 400 rows we have 20 columns and the type of the column object and all the details the memory usage all that now you can also print out the shape of this data frame so it is 400 rows and 20 columns now if you can notice here that the columns have no names here so we have no names in the columns so i'm going to type the name for each column 
df dot column equal to the first one is the place placed and bib name gender age city so i'm going to type here all so here i have added all the names of the columns now printing the data frame so now here we have all the names of the 20 columns so here you can notice that the data is starting from the fifth row so we have to skip the details of the first four rows here i type df equal to df dot drop df dot index range four so till the range four we are going to drop the rows and we are going to print the data frame so here it is now if you want to print the last elements so i type here df2 equal to df dot tail and uh, df2 so it has printed out the elements the last five elements from the end so i'm going to use this data frame 2 to plot the bar graph df2 gender df2 age so i have used the age and the gender to print out the bar graph now let's take some advanced example and uh, this time i have taken the amazon website and i have searched here iphone so we have got the list of iphones and uh, the name the price the rating so we are going to use the web scrapper to fetch the details of the name the price and the rating so here i'm going to first pip install auto scrapper so i have already installed the auto scrapper so requirement already satisfied here i'm going to copy the url and uh, here i create amazon url equal to i paste the link and uh, the data that i want i create a variable and I create a list of that data so what I need here is the name of the product so what it will be doing like it will be catching the similar data the we need the name and uh, we also need the price so here I copy this price along with the rating so i save these two variables now scrapper equal to auto scrapper function result equal to scrapper dot build and here i'm going to enter the variable amazon url and the wanted data and here I'm going to print the result so here I have forgot to import the auto scrapper library from auto scrapper import 
auto scrapper and here we go so we have the result the names of the products all the names then we have got the prices and the ratings starting from the 1272 here let's see 1272 5009 5009 is here so we have got all the details all the similar details that we have defined here now what we are going to do is we are going to group this data scrapper dot get result similar and here I'm going to enter Amazon URL grouped equal to true all right so you can see here it has created a dictionary we have got the key and the value so the key is here rule underscore y to vd and the name of all the products here it has created another key and the value then we have got the price of the product and the rating now what we are going to do is we are going to name these keys appropriately like these are the name these are the prices so we don't need to use these keys so here i type scrapper dot set rule alysis and here i'm going to enter the key name which is rule underscore what is that let me see here it is rule y to vd so i type here rule y to vd and this should be the name similarly we have got the price so i copy this key name which is the price and the next we have is the ratings so i copy this and i paste it and these are the ratings all right now i type here scrapper keep rules and uh, I'm going to enter the rule name. These are the rules, comma. The next we have is this one, and the last one. And at the end, we are going to save this. We are going to save these settings with the name Amazon-Save. We can give any name here. Now, let's save this. Now, whenever you have to load these rules, the rules that we have created here, what you need to do is you just need to load this rule, the name of this rule, which is Amazon-Save. Now let's create the result scrapper dot get result similar. I'm going to copy this link and group by allies equal to true 
now result and if I want to fetch the name so these are the names if I type here price we get all the price and similarly rating so that's all for this lecture and I hope you have understood that how we can do web scrapping using Python if you have any questions you may ask me in the comment section thanks for watching and I see you in the next one